RuneScape has so many different training methods for every skill, but only a few are actually used in modern day RuneScape. This video, I'll show you 10 different cooking methods that are almost never used. First on the list is something you're probably all familiar with, but really isn't used outside of niche situations. Gnome cooking. It is required to cook gnome food for the Western Provinces Diary, and there is a minigame centered around it that gives some unique rewards like the gnome scarf and goggles, but not many people really go out of their way to play that minigame, and I don't think anyone uses gnome cooking at all outside of the minigame and diary task. It's a really slow but really interesting way to train cooking. It requires more ingredients than most other methods of cooking and even more steps, and you can make some really unique food. Next is eels. Lava eels are used in the hero's quest, but personally I've never fished a slimy eel or a cave eel in my life. A spider on a stick, you have to cook for the Karandra Diary, and maybe some people might use it as food during the Taibo Wanai cleanup minigame, but I'm sure no one outside of those situations ever wants to make a spider on a stick. Next is the mud pie, or pies in general, but I thought this one was the weirdest. Some pies have useful boosts, but mud pies really don't have an actual use outside of using them for fun. They can only be used in PvP as they are considered a weapon, not a pie for eating. It does no damage, it's not stackable, but it decreases your opponent's run energy by 25%. Next is nettle tea. This heals 3 HP and gives 5% run energy. Here's how to make it. First, you need a bowl of water and you have to pick some nettles. Make sure you wear gloves for this step. Then you boil the nettle water to make it into tea. Optionally, you can put it in a cute little teacup if you have one. Probably the easiest way to obtain a cup is stealing tea from the Varrock tea stall and drinking the tea. And another option is to add milk. Next on the list is dairy churning. There are three different things you can make with this method, cream, butter, and cheese. A pot of cream is really only used in gnome cooking. Butter is used for potatoes, and cheese has a few uses, but churning really doesn't give much XP and takes a while to do. And leading off of that, baked potatoes is another unused cooking method. Some potatoes can be bought from stores or obtained as drops from certain monsters, but no one really makes them from scratch. It is pretty tedious, so I can see why. To make a baked potato, you first have to cook a raw potato, which makes it heal 4 HP instead of 1. Then add a pat of butter. To add more toppings, it gets a little complicated. In particular, for the mushroom potato, you have to to use the mushroom on a bowl with a knife in your inventory. Don't bother using the knife on the mushroom, for some reason it doesn't work that way. Cook the sliced mushrooms. Use an onion on a bowl with a knife in your inventory and cook that too. Mix them together, and finally add it to the potato. I'm sure this is way tastier than an unseasoned cooked shark though. And on a similar level of difficulty are kebabs, specifically Ugthanki or however it's pronounced. For this, you need to kill a camel for its meat and cook it. Chop an onion into a bowl and add tomato. Add the meat. Then use the kebab mix on pita bread. You can also make this into a super kebab with red hot sauce from the kebab shop in Polnivnij. Umli wraps I have actually shown in a video before, but here's the method if you haven't seen it. Kill an umli in the Karazi jungle. Find a leafy palm tree with the shake option and shake it for a palm leaf. Use the leaf on the raw umli to get a wrapped umli, and then you cook it. Umlis can't be cooked on their own, so you 
always have to wrap them like this. Umbli wraps are used for the Karamja diary or to reobtain a bulbaror. I'm sure no one uses this as a cooking method, but this is a very niche and very slow money maker. Last on this list is curry. Stew is used in the mess hall, so I figure a lot of people have cooked stew from scratch before. But curry is a similar but very unused cooking method. To make curry, you add a potato to a bowl of water, add cooked meat or chicken, and then instead of just cooking that to make stew, you add a bottle of spice or three curry leaves to make uncooked curry. And then you cook it. And there you have it, the 10 least used cooking methods in old school RuneScape. Not including stuff that's only used for quest because almost everyone has done those at least once. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something fun. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye lovelies.